Marilyn hold her up. Oh my God. Marilyn Seagal hold her up. Like, yeah. Katie, I'm sorry, I wanted to call her Marilyn. Katie Seagal yeah. hold her up there at the podium, mm. you know, to help her because of the right, multiple because sclerosis. Of the MS. Yeah. But she's a beautiful person. It's yeah. a really hard disease. People in my life I know affected by it. So we just, we wish her well and it's incredible. She does. She's deserved that star for a long time. Pat. That's so, for, yes, she did. Is so happy she finally got it. Yeah. So, congratulations. Yes, a big congratulations. All right. Well, let's turn our attention to what you're seeing here and here. Okay. <laughs> Didn't mean to coordinate, but but I did. You know, uh, high wind warning was top of mind today, and it's going into effect tomorrow. Ex excuse me. The fire weather starts tomorrow. The warning technically kicks in, red flag warning, Wednesday morning and lasts through Wednesday evening. Now, we do have a high wind warning in effect, and we also are expecting relative humidity in the single digits. Let's take a look at wind speeds right now. You'll see calm conditions. LAX, 10 mile per hour winds, otherwise single digits for us. As we check out our wind gusts, you will see single digit wind speeds across Southern California. As we check out the early morning and the late afternoon hours tomorrow, it's only going to get windier. And remember, this is just the beginning of the Santa Ana stretch. We're expecting close to 30 mile per hour wind gusts, Camarillo, Burbank, otherwise Temecula at 10 miles per hour. Take a look by early morning Wednesday into Thursday, we are expecting the wind to really peak. And Wednesday being not just the windiest day, but also the driest and the warmest. We could see wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. That is not out of the question in our local mountains, but generally speaking, 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts, even up to 40 miles per hour through our Thursday. Temperatures tomorrow warmer. We're going to be mild in the upper 60s. We could expect to see 70s, maybe even upper 70s in our forecast later this week. And high temperatures looking like this, 71 for Ontario, 70 Santa Ana, 69 Riverside, and 70 for both San Bernardino and 71 for Hemet tomorrow. Chance of rain, pretty much zero. So we are looking at dry conditions staying with us. Temperature is getting warmer as the days go on. Let's get a look at my seven day forecast for the basin and Orange County. 60s and 70s expected. Plenty of sunshine, partly cloudy, and for the valleys, 70s for the next seven days. Time to check in now with sports and our Jim Hill. Get CBS News Los Angeles on the CBS News app. Download now. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.